the touchdown should occur with the airplane on and pointed down the center line of the runway and moving the same direction it's pointed. When you touch down, you want to make sure the airplane is not drifting to one side or the other. Otherwise, you're going to place side loads on the gear when you touch down. That's bad for the airplane and uncomfortable for the passengers. Now, as the airplane slows, lower the nose wheel gently to the runway by reducing the back pressure on the elevator. Maintain directional control with the rudder and with the nose wheel steering. Then, when you've slowed sufficiently, apply the brakes smoothly and continuously to decelerate. Notice, too, that John's left the flaps down. Wait until you've turned off the runway before you retract the flaps. This is a good habit for when you fly airplanes with retractable landing gear because you want to make sure that you're looking at the lever you're moving. You want to make sure that you're retracting the flaps as opposed to the landing gear. So wait till you turn off the runway before you start retracting anything.